Hello. Today in church, Pastor Sylvia is going to be talking about peace. And we know that Jesus said to us, my peace I give to you. He was talking to the followers of Jesus, which is us. So you may have been hearing your parents talking this week or last week about some not so very peaceful times that our world is experiencing right now. And why is that if Jesus gave us all his peace? Well, he said that he gives us his peace, but he doesn't give it as the world gives it. In other words, he doesn't give us world peace. He gives us peace in our own hearts because he knows that we cannot have world peace until we have peace in our own hearts. And as you know, he told us the way to have that peace is to love God and love one another. So I'm going to um, talk about what can a kid do to promote peace in our world right now. So I want to show you these two bowls of water. One is clear water and that is representing everything good, love, peace, joy, happiness, and the things that Jesus told us to do, to love God and love one another. This yucky looking water over here is representing all the bad things, anger, bad thoughts, hatred, violence, all of those kinds of bad things are represented by that yucky water. So, as a sponge, if you soak up all of the good things that Jesus told us to think about, loving God, praying, going to church, loving one another, um, being kind and generous, and then we get under stress and we get squeezed like that, our actions will be good actions. We will have acts of kindness, of love and generosity. If you soak up all bad things and violent things and the bad things in this world, and you get under stress, and you get squeezed, the actions that come out are going to be bad actions. So what we can do to have peace in our hearts is to fill ourselves with love. And then when we come up against hate, we come into a world that has hatred in it, then we are under stress. Our actions will be maybe not perfect, but they won't be bad actions. Jesus told us two other things. He told us that in order to help other people understand how to combat hate is to let your light shine like this smiley face being good and kind to people and generous to people will let them see that you have joy in your heart the other thing he told us to do before he went to heaven was that we should also tell people how to get the peace and joy of the Lord in their heart by loving God and loving one another. God bless you.